Eternity Tuesday. That's just what happens when you're 38 weeks pregnant and you're over it, but not quite. Um, I'm so grateful that I've been able to carry this baby for this long and that honestly my complications and my whole overall pregnancy has not been very difficult. Um, I heard a lot back from you guys who are pregnant or have gone through pregnancy and my heart just goes out to you when you've been so sick and a lot of you have been on bed rest and I don't know, it just feels nice to be in this community where we can all be vulnerable and honest and prepare maybe some of those for maternity when they get to that point in their lives. And if you're never gonna be a mom and you're still here, I love you even more. So thank you guys so much for keeping up with me and this pregnancy. It's crazy as of today, we have only 13 days until my actual due date. So to catch you guys up to speed, if you, this is the first time you've ever been on my channel, hi, I'm Carly Styles. welcome. We are doing Maternity Mondays. We have been throughout my entire pregnancy with my second little boy. My first boy is nine and his name is Cooper. And this little boy that we're having, his name will be Elliot and he is due April 10th, 2017. So welcome to the channel. Thanks for being here. Hey, I'm going to update you guys and we are going to go over what's in my hospital bag. So first and foremost, I went to the doctor last week and I got checked. Um, I had progressed more since the previous checkup, but not a ton of progress. I'm only now dilated to one centimeter and it was kind of hard for him to get up and to fill my cervix. So it wasn't a good dilated, it was just like barely dilated, but I have thinned out to about 60%. So what that means is my cervix and my uterus and everything is kind of thinning out and that's what you want to happen because once you're 100% thinned out, that's when your water can break, your contractions can start, and you can actually start properly dilating. So I'm actually happy with that news, and we feel good about it. We have an appointment in two days. He's going to check me again, and I'm gonna ask him if he will strip my membranes, possibly next week on April 6th, if I don't go into natural labor by then. Um, with Cooper, I went full term, and they induced me on my 40th week mark, 40th day to the point, and as much as I want to have this baby, I also am really hesitant about getting started just because I felt like when I was dial or when I was started with Cooper, when they started me on my or started my labor for me, we did the Pitocin, they broke my water. I was in labor for two days and I think it made it a lot harder on my body. So I would like to naturally start going into labor if we can get there. But I also don't wanna go like 10 week days or two weeks over just because I feel like it's been really hard. So everyone, fingers crossed and prayers and leave me any tips that you have. And no, I will not be drinking castor oil. Okay, so I'm gonna be going over with you guys what's in my hospital bag. So first and foremost, I got a bag. I just figured I would treat myself to a new bag because for me personally, you can never have too many bags, especially like this perfect weekend getaway bag where you can use it as a carry-on or you can use it as like a bag for the pool, a little bag though. I got, it's a bag from Nena & Co. I will leave their Instagram down below, but they have the cutest flipping bags and I like that it's like girly and has a girly touch to it. So I love this bag, Nana and Co. And then it also has like a long shoulder strap and you can adjust it, which is really, really nice. So I will be taking this bag. It is quite full right now. I need to go through and kind of simplify it. Also, I got this blanket at TJ Maxx. I think having your own, like some, bringing something from home that makes your room a little more personal and comfortable, whether it's your pillow or I love these soft blankets and I like that it's bright and fresh for spring. So I just got this at TJ Maxx. So we'll be taking that as well. So we'll just start with from the top. It's in no particular order. So they talk about the first poop after you have a baby and how it's terrifying. So after you've had a baby, obviously if you have been pushing, you could have the chance of ripping and you're very sore down there and tearing and stitches and all those scary things going on. 
and sometimes it's hard to go to the bathroom and pushing to go to the bathroom can feel like you're having a baby again and it can be super uncomfortable. So I have really planned that as soon as I go into labor, I'm going to really focus on eating only like vegetables and just keeping it really like light as far as snacks go to have at the hospital. So the good news is we have a lot of family clothes, so I'm not packing a lot of snacks in my bag. I'm just gonna rely on them to bring us fresh snacks as well as fiber gummies. And your doctor can give you a prescription for like a stool softener. But I think that just having a really high fiber diet for after the baby's here until we've had our first poop, <laughs> we're getting really close today, you guys, then that will help. So I have, I'll be packing these fiber gummies, fiber chews, as well as some fiber bars that I'm going to be taking to the hospital. Next, I know a lot of people recommend taking magazines and reading material, but I have so much on my phone that I'm sure I'll be doing and editing of the vlog and all the material. So I'm not gonna be taking a lot of reading material, but I am a planner girl. I love Erin Condren. I just got my planner from her for this year and I love planning things out, especially with so much going on at the hospital and I can take notes of who brought us what for thank yous, etc. So this is like the only thing I'm bringing besides my cell phone to keep me occupied on the waiting time. Also, I'm a weirdo about standing in other people's showers without flip flops. So I just got these really cute flip flops from the Ho app. I like how bright they are and they have all or have also been like my pedicure flip flops lately. So when I shower in the hospital or maybe just walking around the bathroom, I'm going to be using these flip flops. Also, I think it's really important to remember that even that we're taking so many vitamins before we have our baby that we need to continue on with our vitamins after we have our baby. So I have my prenatal vitamins that I'm going to be taking as soon as baby is here just to help with my breast milk and making sure all my nutrition levels are up. So my prenatals. Okay, I had a really good friend give me a present. It was probably the most thought out, thoughtful present that one could give an expecting mother. And it was basically a bag of everything that she wished that she would have had at the hospital and things, last minute things that you might forget. So big shout out, her name is Ari Price and I am grateful because a lot of the things I was meaning to pack, she bought for me in travel size, which is really nice. So shampoo and conditioner and a dry shampoo if you're not gonna be wanting to wash your hair or you don't have time or whatever. She said the best thing that she did was showering at the hospital. It felt so good just to shower and wash your hair. So I had the option with the shampoo and conditioner of washing my hair or if not, dry shampoo is our best friend. Also, I have this like little overnight kit and it has everything that you can think of like deodorant, makeup, face wipes, um, Kleenexes, um, sanitary wipes, antibacterial wipes, as well as a overnight toothbrush and toothpaste, um, some breath mints or breath drops, and then some hand cream. And then I also have in there some ponytail holders, paper clips, and bobby pins that you just never know. It's like a little emergency kit that you're gonna need. I put it in there is this hand sanitizer coconut lime spray, which I think is really nice. So you can just spray anything that you wanna sanitize, hands or whatever for the baby, you, etc. This will be going in there as well. So in another little bag that I just put together, I have um, some new mama bottom spray. I got this on Amazon and it was really recommended. It's by Earth Mama and Angel Baby. It's all organic. It's naturally cooling perineal mist for pregnancy and postpartum. So after you have your baby and you're really sore down there and you have stitches, this is a great way to stay clean and to kind of relieve the pain that's going on down there. So it's 100% natural cooling mist for prenatal and postpartum bottoms. Take it with you along for your peri bottle or for your first post baby bathroom visit. So you guys, if you're wondering what all that's about, read up on it. We don't have the t all the time in the world, but I was really great to get to, grateful to come across this on Amazon and I just stuck it in my bag. Also, this is called Lucky Legs. It's by the brand Mama Mio. I've talked about them 100, 100 times. Right now, my feet and ankles and legs are so sore and I'm sure it's gonna be the same way in the hospital with a lot of swelling. I experienced that with Cooper. This is just called Lucky Legs. It's cooling, energizing leg gel. So Jackson hopefully will be stepping up to the plate and giving me a massage and just kind of helping relieve the pain there. And then I'm really funny about smells and in hospitals, I know it can be intense. So from the same company, the Mama Mio brand, this is Liquid Yoga Space spray and it helps just like relax and calm you and it's just a really light mist so it kind of just like sets the atmosphere to be like calm and cooling and yeah just helps create your own peace of mind so these two have been packed 
um, some gum. I also have peppermint chapstick. I'm addicted to this stuff. I love it so, so much. Um, and then this is the Keep Calm Nipple Balm by the Mamma Mio. I do have a product, a byproduct in Elliot's diaper bag that's for his bottom and I can use on my nipples for the breastfeeding, but I just figured it's never, too, you're never, you can never over prepare. You know, I'd rather have too much than not enough. So I'm also taking this nipple balm. And then I have been loving, okay, Jessie Decker, I just love her so much. I wish we could all tell her how much I love her and I want to collab with her, but this is hair perfume spray. So it's one thing to put the dry shampoo on your roots and to help there, but you're going to be hugging a lot of people. A lot of people might be coming to visit you. You don't want your hair to be smelling like hospital lasagna and everything else that's going on. So this smells amazing. Every time I wear it, people are like, what perfume are you wearing? And it's always just my hair. And you can order it. Um, if you go to her Instagram, I know you can get it through her. I've also seen them at Target. But this one is a sweet magnolia. It smells so delicious. And then lastly, this is Lip Sense Lip Balm. It's the most hydrating lip balm I've ever used in my life. I take one with me everywhere I go. So naturally, it had to go in my little overnight kit and bag for the hospital. On to the good stuff. I've heard a ton about wrapping your stomach and your core after you have your baby, just to help to get everything back into place and to kind of give you support because through the nine months, you've lost some of your ab muscles and your back muscles and you forget what it's like to kind of hold yourself up without this big belly. So I ordered a band, a wrap off of Belly Bandit and I'm really excited because the one I have been using makes a huge difference. So I just got this in the small, the belly bandit in the small, and I really heard some amazing reviews about how this can really help just pull everything back together and just kind of make you feel, um, I don't know, after baby, just like a little tighter. So if you guys have any recommendations, but I just got the belly bandit, it's the bamboo, it's really soft. I just got mine on Amazon, and I'm really excited to try this method because I didn't do this with Cooper. I treated myself to some new slippers. Um, I just feel like having some fresh new slippers at the hospital will be really comfortable and just nice to be relaxing in or if I want to walk around the hospital, we have something a little more protected on our feet. And I really wanted the leopard ones, but I ended up going with these little white beauties. So some new slippers. Couldn't decide Victoria's Secret was having such an amazing sell. So I ordered some larger sizes, but when you're in the hospital, they give you a gown. And I remember wearing that the whole time when I had Cooper, but it's nice to have a personal touch of something for you. So I got myself some cute pajamas from Victoria's Secret. I got myself a large just because I never know, you never know um, the swelling and everything else. And you don't want anything on your body that's like super tight right after. So I got myself some silk pajamas and then I love this because it will be easy to access her breastfeeding. So next I also ordered some sweatpants for Victoria's Secret. Um, I know I'm not going to probably be wearing all of these at the hospital, but it'll be nice to have some to lounge in at home. And I don't know about you guys, but Victoria's Secret makes the softest sweats and they really do hold up on their quality. It's like a, it's in a, it's a lot for sweatpants, 45, 40 bucks. I got these on sale for 35, but it's worth it to me because honestly comfort for me these days is like above and beyond. So sweatpants. I also got some cotton pajamas in a size medium just for maybe wearing at home, but I really love this blue color and then this button up night top that goes with it. I just think that it'll be easy access for breastfeeding and I love the soft blue cotton color. Super cute and it'll be fun to take pictures in. The baby's snuggling him up. One more item just because I couldn't, I won't be able to decide until I'm there. I'm a kind of girl that likes options, what can I say? But I got this really pretty robe from Pink Blush. They have a ton of cute maternity clothes and they're on Instagram. If you guys are looking, you should head on over there. But it's this blue robe with the lace. And I just love that it, you can um, maybe just have this on in bed and wrap around you. I was even thinking maybe they would let me have this while I deliver, I'm not sure. So now this way I feel like I at least have a couple of options because the worst thing is you pack one thing, you're so set on it and you get to the hospital and it ends up not working out. So I love that I have options and I will also have some cute clothes for when I'm lounging around at home because we're gonna have a lot of guests I'm sure and I wanna look somewhat put together with my pajamas. Lastly, I got just this, a couple of these overnight nursing bras. They're just supposed to be for comfort, not a ton of support. But when your milk comes in and your boobs get engorged and you're just trying to figure everything out, you just want comfort. So these are just cotton, like overnight nursing bras or 
I just call them overnights because you wear them at night and they can just slip open. I've been on the hunt for good nursing bras, but I don't want to spend a lot of money until I know kind of what size I am. So I also have um, some maternity bras on that I got sized for at Nord's, no, at Dillard's. And I've heard that Nordstrom can take any bra and convert it into a nursing bra. So if I don't get too much bigger or too engorged, then I can actually keep the bras I've used through pregnancy and just take them to get created into nursing bras, which would be really helpful. I just don't want to spend a ton of money on nursing bras right now when I don't know what size I'm going to be. That would be my advice for you. So something like this for a week or two where you're gonna be down and on bed rest and just kind of laying low will be more than fine to have until you can go out and get yourself some new bras. And then that way you'll have a better estimate of what size you will be. Also while we'll we're packing all of our chargers, one thing I heard is getting an extended longer charger because my Apple charger isn't that long. So that, that way your phone can reach to your bed. So I ordered this, I think it's like a, five foot charger or seven foot charger. I just got it from Amazon and it has two dock stations. So I can actually charge two phones with this at one time. But I think having a nicer charger that can your phone can reach to your bed will be really nice so you don't have to get up and get down to get your phone. So I'm gonna have my camera and all of our chargers there and in my bag ready to go, charged up and waiting. I bought extra as well as extra memory cards just so we don't run out of any space and don't miss any moments. I am going to be making a video later this week of popsicle pads and how you can make your own pads from home. I have a bunch of thin pads and large granny panties that I'm gonna be packing to the hospital um, for on our way home and that transition. So stay tuned, that video is going to be coming and I've heard that they are like life savers for your butt and your Virginia in a sense. I think that that's it, I'm feeling ready. If I have forgotten anything or there's anything you can think of that I'm going to need or want, please leave it down in the comments below. Prayers for us and well wishes. We have another appointment coming up in two days. Who knows, the baby could be here any moment and it's kind of exciting. So lots of videos to come on the horizon, popsicle pads, baby nursery reveal, update with the doctor, and then of course our birth vlog, which we are going to do for sure. So I love you guys very much and we will see you next time on Maternity Monday. Hopefully, who knows? Bye you guys.